Today we can talk about the gas equilibrium constant Kp. So how to work out Kp. Some people can't understand that. So we're going to use an example from 2020 paper, AQA uh, past paper. And it's question number six. And where they show um, the equation of CO gas plus 2H2 gas equilibrium gives you one mole of CH3 of methanol gas okay so the first thing you need to know is how to do the expression of kp so expression kp is kp equals to partial pressure of your products okay so be ch3 oh gas divided by partial pressure i mean you can represent partial pressure with a big p or just small p's like that uh, of uh, co times the partial pressure of H2. But because there's two moles of H2, we square that, okay? So you got the expression of Kp. That's how you set up the expression of Kp. Now, the next thing you gotta do is that how do you work out partial pressure? How to work out partial pressure? So partial pressure is, is, equal to mole fraction, mole fraction uh, times total pressure. Total pressure in a mixture. So the next thing you need to know is that after you got that, so you say, okay, first thing I gotta do is work out mole fraction. I need to know about the total pressure. So mole fraction, Mole fraction is the number of mole of gases of gas divided by the total number of moles of gas in the mixture. Then once you know the partial pressure of each individual part. So you could do partial pressure CH3OH, you got partial pressure of that and partial pressure of that. Then you can place a partial pressure. Uh, you can work out a partial pressure like that by working out the mole ratio for each individual part. Okay, so this is how you work KP. So that's the first step. And now we're going to try to solve the question on paper um, 2000 and um, 20 papers paper question question six 2020 so it says here this is methanol and this is the equation i just used it says shows that the partial pressure change uh, with time constant so you've got a partial pressure here and you've got a change it says here draw across an uh, appropriate axis on figure three when the mixture reach, reaches equilibrium so when the re uh, mixture reaches equilibrium so it's still go it is still going up and it's still going down so it will be a point where everything is the same. So it will be at this point where it's straight line. So if you do like a straight line here and you go across there. So that's the answer to that question. Okay, so they both, everything is constant. So constant, all the reactants and products are in equilibrium constant. Got the same concentration. Now we're going to try to work out this question. A, a 2.30 mole sample carbon monoxide is mixed with hydrogen in a one to two mole ratio and allowed to reach equilibrium in a sealed flask temperature T. At equilibrium, the mixture contains 0.12 moles of carbon monoxide. A total pressure of this mixture is that. So they give you total pressure, they give you the moles of carbon monoxide. Calculate the partial pressure in KPA of hydrogen in equilibrium mixture. Okay? So what you have to do, you have to work out, so if you work out the partial pressure, you've got to work out your mole fraction, mole fraction of hydrogen, and then you gotta work out, um, then you work out partial pressure after. Okay? Right, so let's carry on what we just left. So it says here, 0 0.23 moles of sample carbon monoxide is mixed with hydrogen one ratio, one two ratio, and a lot rich equilibrium. 
in a sealed flask temperature T. At equilibrium mix contains 0.12 moles of carbon monoxide. Total pressure is this. Calculate partial pressure. So when you calculate partial pressure first, we need to know how much how many number of moles of hydrogen is in equilibrium. So I would do that. I would do that little table that you know. So it's going to put initial moles, initial. Then you have equilibrium. And then you got uh, reacted. It doesn't matter which order you do. So they got CO, they got H2, and they got CH3OH. So that's your product. And the ratio is one to two to one. So the beginning says zero point, initial 0 0.23 moles or CO, uh, carbon monoxide, is mixed with ratio one to two. So that means it's gonna be 0 0.46 moles of H2. So that means there's no, nothing to start with. Then it says a lot rich equilibrium seal flask. Equilibrium mixture contain carbon monoxide is going to be equilibrium is going to be 0 0.128 equilibrium. We don't know the rest. So it's total pressure is that. So first thing you do, you work out what is uh, what is reacted in here. So you've got 0 0.3, 0 0.23, 0 0.23 minus 0 0.12 equals to 0 0.11. So if there's a 0 0.1 reacted, so ratio is one to two, that's gonna be 0 0.22 reacted, 0 0.11. That means it's gonna be 0 0.11 here. So that minus that is going to give you uh, 0 0.2. So therefore, moles of H2 at equilibrium is 0 0.24, H2 equals 0 0.24 moles at equilibrium. So you know 0 0.24 moles of equilibrium for hydrogen. So you need to know the mole fraction now. The mole fraction is going to be the moles of hydrogen plus divided by the number of total, total moles of that. So if you add them together, 0 0.11 plus 0 0.22 plus 0 0.11 is going to be equal to 0 0.47 because I already calculated that. So the total moles is, it, it, total moles is 0 0.47. So how do you write work out partial pressure of H2? So it's going to be partial pressure equals to uh, moles of H2, which is 0 0.24 divided by the total moles, which is 0 0.47 times total pressure, which is 1.04 times 10 to the 4 kPa. So the partial pressure of H2 is going to be uh, 5310, or if you represent on standard form, it's going to be 5.31 times 10 to the 3 kPa. And that's how you worked out this question six on paper 2020. Okay, I hope that was helpful and we'll just carry on the next bit. If you carry on this question here, you ask you, give an expression of equilibrium constant Kt for this reaction, state units. Okay, so there's two marks. So first you're gonna put Kp equals to CH3, partial pressure CH3OH, divided by partial pressure of CO times partial pressure of H2 squared. So that's your KP expression as we talked about it. So how do you work out units? Very simple. So you've got one mole is KPA, then you have KPA times KPA squared. So you can cancel that, so that will give you one divided by kPa squared. So if you go one divided by kPa squared, you need to bring this up, so it's going to be uh, kPa minus two. So the unit is kPa minus two. Okay, so that's how you answer that question. So the next part, the next part of this question says, some more carbon monoxides added to the mixture question 6.2. The new mixture is allowed to reach equilibrium temperature T. State effect, if any, or partial pressure of methanol on the value Kp. Okay, there'll be, uh, what is going to be, so if you add, so we're going to look at the equation here. I did, the equation is here. So if I add more carbon monoxide there, the equilibrium will shift to the right-hand side to reduce the amount of moles of gases, so producing more 
products. If there's more products produced, so KP will, partial pressure KP increases. So if there's more products increases, if there is less, if there's more reactants, it decreases. So the partial pressure will increase. Okay. So what is the effect of KP? KP is only affected by temperature. Okay. So you, nothing else affects KP. So KP has got no effect whatsoever. So the last bit I want to do now is another two marks. State effect, if any, on addition of a catalyst on the value of KP for this equilibrium. Explain your answer. So it'd be, when you add a catalyst to any, any equilibrium structure, mixture, you, there's no effect. The reason for that, the catalyst will increase the rate, increase the rate of the forward and reverse reaction or backward reaction. You can put backward, you want to say backward reaction by the same amount. Okay. So therefore it does not affect the, rate, the position of equilibrium. And that's how you answer this question on KP from 2020 paper AQA syllabus. I hope that was helpful and I look forward to do another bit of explanation next. So if you enjoy my uh, explanation, can you please subscribe uh, to my channel? Uh, you can leave some comments you, if you got any nice comments to leave about it, if you enjoy it. And, and if you got any other topics that you want me to cover, uh, now, uh, like as soon as possible for your revision, just let me know and I'll just look for the topic and go through that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.